You expect that when you order a drink, your ice will be clean. But ABC4 News has learned that's not always the case. In fact, you may be surprised at what we found, maybe even shocked. Bacteria and fungus in amounts that could make you sick. And get this, some owners don't even know what's going on. Here's ABC4's Brian Carlson's investigation. Dirty ice. You put it in your drink. I'm shocked. You want it to be clean. I have done with two guys. And you expect restaurants to keep it that way. It's probably more of a widespread thing than most people know. But I found out in an ABC4 undercover investigation, the ice you're eating can be downright dirty. We randomly picked several Salt Lake Valley restaurants and one ice company that claims its ice is pure. Can I get a Diet Coke and then can I get a separate cup of ice? Collected samples, a cup of ice for most, and a bag from Summit Ice. Marked and sealed, the samples according to procedures given us by the lab. And then the testing began. Five businesses under the microscope. Sage's Cafe, Tsunami Restaurant, Moe's Place, European Pizza, and Summit Ice. We'll have those results in just a minute. The president of Summit Ice, Brian Washnook, agreed to do an interview before we even got results. People almost assume that since we're freezing it and it's maybe being put in a freezer for a long period of time, that that's going to kill the contaminants or possibly bacteria, which is, which is false. Confident their ice would turn out clean. Summit Ice takes precautions to keep their ice clean, like no human contact, stainless steel, and they practice food handling standards when making ice. Their lab results confirm their prediction. Look at the pictures. Two samples, testing for bacteria and fungus. Clean as a whistle. One little dot on each sample. We can't say the same for the other businesses in our investigation. The ice machines probably don't get cleaned as frequently as they should, so they can potentially be bacteria traps. And neither can we. Sage's Cafe and Tsunami had traces of bacteria and fungus, but the two worst offenders were Moe's Place and European Pizza. We wanted to find out why, so we took our cameras in and asked the tough questions. I'm Brian with Channel 4. First, Moe's Place. The owner, Rick, showed me his ice machine. So you got this machine four years ago and haven't cleaned it since then? No. Then we showed him these pictures of the bacteria and fungus in his ice, called Pseudomonas aeruginosa, or water bug. According to the health department, it can make the average person sick and potentially cause death to someone with a weakened immune system. He's been serving that to customers. I drink more than anybody, so I feel terrible about it. But because of our investigation, Rick changed his ways. I didn't know it was a problem. I do now. It's clean, and it'll be consistently clean now. The other worst offender, European Pizza. You're the manager? Yes. Are you also the owner? Yes. Exactly. I showed him these photos, fungus thriving on the sample of his ice. Remember the sample from Summit Ice? Clean, quite a difference. This tested with fungus that was too numerous to count. Do you think that's healthy to be serving to customers? No, but I don't know what's caused that. He showed me the ice machine, but still had no answers about why his ice is dirty. You don't have any explanation? No, I don't. That's the same answer I heard over and machine. over again. I really don't know. Until he kicked us out. I am done with you guys. So, how can you avoid dirty ice like we found in our investigation? There are a couple things you can do. If you see some par particles and things in the ice, then I would be a little leery of uh, probably ingesting that ice. Or just do what Brian Washnick does. I'm the guy that gets a, a bottled soft drink in a sealed bottle that's hopefully cold. Better a warm soda than a cold one full of bacteria and fungus. On the 19th, Brian Carlson, ABC4 News. Now, the health department tells us it doesn't test ice for bacteria and fungus. The only test that they do really is a visual one. To pass, the ice machine must be maintained clean to sight and touch. Well, we just weren't satisfied with that answer. So, tomorrow, we plan to ask the health department what must be done to make sure that the ice in your drink is safe. Look for that important follow-up tomorrow night, right here at 10 o'clock. Meanwhile, in case you want the complete list of the restaurants that we tested, we invite you to go to our website, abc4.com, and look for the Dirty Ice story. It's in the orange box.